uh, what do you foresee for uh, for uh, educational reform, at least in the immediate term, uh, with the pandemic in mind, and then moving forward to uh, medium-term plans? With the pandemic in mind, I thought it would have been a golden opportunity to, to retrain and uh, to reacclimatize our teachers, actually, to higher technical competences and higher uh, quality or content uh, of what they teach. And actually, it's really high time that we transition, uh, the start the transition, at least in phase stages, from paper textbooks. Uh, and we should review the content of those textbooks to have higher capacities for our children and uh, having more technical uh, skills uh, the younger they are, particularly also in uh, functional language. No? Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it would have been a golden opportunity for them uh, because they could not really teach in the early part to retrain and to retool uh, the skills of our teachers because they are really the basis of uh, all educational reform programs. The textbooks mm -hmm. cost a lot. They are fragile and we do not know their content. So I'd like to investigate and I'd like to look further as to how these can be replaced for more functional, more durable, and uh, um, more usable things for our kids. Secondly, also, on the other hand, on higher education, I'd like to see more investments by the government and the incentives for the private sector to invest in research and development, not merely focusing by our uh, universities and colleges on uh, immediate deployment for uh, the job market because we need a lot of research and development in order to, to make ourselves a player in an innovation uh, society you know, rather than an outsourced destination. Those are the two basic pillars on both ends of the, of the scale that I'd like to see. And I know that there is free tertiary education However, it should really be based, based on merit. Secondly, I'd like to do away with the mandatory master's degree programs because uh, a lot of uh, what is expected of master's uh, degree graduates in career uh, positions can really be filled by in uh, by uh, in service schooling uh, to keep up to trends, no. Uh, master's degree programs should be uh, based on a dissertation which will really uh, uh, uplift uh, scholarship in, in, in a field, especially the doctoral programs. And master's degree programs should really be based, if it is free, uh, if based competitively on what our country needs. And our country's needs are not merely technical, but even in the humanities. For example, in international relations, it is really important. International law, uh, being a maritime uh, nation, it is truly important that we have expertise and scholars in this. But even in other countries, this is not a quote-unquote sexy field. But mm -hmm. our country really vitally needs it for the future to have planners who will form the backbone. Oh!